Hey, hey, I'm back again. I'm Virginia with Happy Healthy Abundance, and I am so excited you're here with me today. What we're going to talk about today are potential budget busters. So these are sneaky little charges that are hidden in your finances that you don't realize are there and that you don't even notice until the bill is due and it throws off your spending patterns, your budget, your um, spending plan, whatever you want to call it for that month because it's something that you didn't expect to pay for that month. So wouldn't you like to know what, what these are? First, I want to go ahead and invite you to go ahead and hit subscribe to my YouTube channel. And while you're here, drop a comment and share with me some kind of fee or charge or budget buster that you've experienced before because we have all been there and there's no shame in this game. There's always a surprise fee or expense or a bill, you know, something that you signed up for that you forgot about and it you know takes you by surprise that month and you're like oh man i forgot to cancel this or whatever it is so go ahead and share that in the comments below we can all kind of appreciate that hey we're all in that same boat together we've all experienced that so that's kind of a fun um silly thing that <laughs> we've all experienced so this video today is going to share with you how to recognize those and put a stop to them and how to plan for potential budget busters that are probably around the corner without you even noticing. So first things first, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because you already know that this is going to be so helpful to planning your budget, to managing your money well, which is what I'm all about. I love sharing about motherhood, money, mindset, anywhere where those things intersect, that is my jam. So lately, I've been doing a free live training over on Facebook, and this is one of the topics that we've been talking about, are the sneaky little things that jump in to your month unexpectedly. So what are some potential budget busters. So we kind of alluded to a few things already. They can be unexpected bills, of course, fees that you didn't notice. So uh, maybe a late fee or some extra fee from the water company or the electricity company. Sometimes a budget buster comes in the form of a contract that you are under that expired and when the contract expires your program or your fees that you're being charged automatically roll into some kind of month to month rate you see this happen with electricity bills or with memberships so um, it's really important that you stay on top of and notice what you're under contract for and how long. This has happened to us personally as far as our internet provider. So we're under contract for you know a year or two years at a certain rate and then all of a sudden we get a, a bill one month that's $20 higher than what we've been paying this whole time. So that was a budget buster that month. And of course with this phone call and just some negotiation with working with that company, we were able to rectify it, but it still required a little bit of a panic and then some time to address the situation. So if we had kept track of when that contract was going to expire, we could have addressed that much faster, much sooner and before the contract expired so that we wouldn't have been hit with that extra bill. So another budget buster, an easy one that comes to mind for me is Amazon Prime. We all love Amazon Prime. It's so convenient and they have so much to choose from and basically anything you need is on Amazon. And it's fabulous to be able to get most things shipped for free. Plus there's tons of other benefits that come with Amazon Prime. So I'm happy to pay that fee once a year, but for several years, I have to admit, 
it would catch me by surprise. So ours happens to hit in December each year. So every December, you know, you're budgeting for Christmas, you're planning your New Year's party, maybe you have some travel in there, you have other things that are going on, and then bam, there's this extra $100 plus bill that you didn't expect. And, you know, sure, you can cover it and just, you know, pull some money from savings or do whatever you gotta do, but it was still like, oh, like I didn't plan for that this month. So if you've ever been there, yes, absolutely. Drop a comment below and share what happened. Share your experience because I know I'm not alone in this because most of my clients have the same question and same thing happened to them. So very normal. So what do you do? How do you fix this, right? So there are fees that we all have um, once a quarter, you know, every two months, every six months, every year, whatever it may be. And there are things that we're not willing to cancel, that we appreciate, that we like to pay for because we like the perks that come with it, similar to Amazon Prime. Well, what you do is you add up, you know, you find all those things, all of those once a year charges, um, twice a year charges, like for us, that's our insurance, I'm thinking life insurance, Amazon Prime, um, birthdays, Christmas, like any once a year or twice a year or quarterly expense that you have. So I want to really challenge you to sit down with like a calendar and look at each month and say, huh, what's extra that happens this month? What is something that seems to come around every single year without fail that continues to surprise me, even though I know that that's happening in December every single year? Like Christmas doesn't move, guys, okay? It happens every single year, yet people have trouble budgeting for it because it seems to be just one or two expensive months out of the year when really what we should be doing is get the total of all of these extras Add them up, get one big total. So maybe that's, you know, $3,000 for the whole year of extra little things. You know, the Memorial Day party, the 4th of July vacation, the birthday parties, the Christmases, mom's birthday, Amazon Prime, life insurance. You know, just list off all your things. Get your total. Then you take that total and you divide it by 12 so that you have a smaller value that is a now a budget line item where you're setting aside a certain value of money every single month, all 12 months, and it never stops. And that value builds to equal that $3,000 over time, right? So whatever your numbers are, it's gonna be different for everyone because everyone has different expenses. They spend different amounts for birthdays, holidays, um, those extras like we talked about, different subscriptions and things that hit once a year. That's gonna be different for everyone. So add up your numbers, divide it by 12, open a separate savings account just for these types of expenses. Put that one, you know, monthly value on your budget and move that money over or set up an automatic savings amount where it goes from your checking to your savings without you having to do anything every single month without fail. And then every time one of those holidays comes around, that surprise bill comes around, you can just, you have the money right there and you just take it out of savings, that little bit, you pay that bill, it's done, you don't worry about it, and that money will be there again for the next year. So that is how you handle unexpected or surprise expenses with your budget. So most of us have a typical monthly budget where we have your utilities and your house payment and your car payment and daycare and all of your normal expenses and then along those same lines, that's where you have that one, you know, savings budget item that goes toward surprise expenses. And when you set that aside every single month, all year long, you are going to be A, super surprised at how quickly the savings adds up and B, completely relieved because you're never going to have a surprise expense that you can't afford ever again. So stick with this method, enjoy, and I hope that it changes your budgeting life forever.
ever. Again, thank you for being here with me. Don't forget to go ahead and hit subscribe. I'm going to be back soon with more helpful videos having to do with budgeting, motherhood, and household management just for you in order to make your life better. Thanks again for being here with me. I'm Virginia. Happy, healthy, abundance. See you soon.